President Barack Obama. Yeah. Is he Kenyan? Is he American? Or is he both? Uh, he's not a uh, Kenyan. His roots are in Africa. Obama is a Kenyan and he's also an American. Would you vote for President Barack Obama if you were to run for Definitely, him? yes. All right, man, thank you so much. Eh? This is uh, dreams from my father, President Barack Obama's most famous publication. This, uh, sadly though, is a cheap version. I got this off the streets thinking I was buying something original, very neatly wrapped, but it's paper, it's cheap, and it's horrible quality, honestly. It's a rip-off. You're ripping off our brother, guys. And the reason I talk about this book it's because I want to talk about Barack Obama, the man, the son of Kenya, the son of Africa. And of course, I'm the first Kenyan American to be president of the United States. He may have been the American president and even the first African American president, but um, Barack Obama is a son of Kenya as well, you know. And what if Barack Obama decides to claim his Kenyan citizenship? I think the foreign affairs ministry in Kenya, the last regime and maybe now, have slept on the job, honestly. Uh, forgive me for saying that. But what a wonderful opportunity to grant President Barack Obama his citizenship. Because that will give us some soft power. That will give us some added value. Because this is one of Kenya's most famous sons. An American president, nonetheless. But should Barack Obama wish to claim his heritage today? Absolutely. President Barack Obama is Kenyan and he can claim that heritage. He can claim his citizenship. So foreign affairs, don't sleep on the job, man. Give President Obama his passport. Give him his citizenship. This is, uh, this is a good selling point for our country. You can't let this go. Come on, man, you know, but I want to go to the streets and ask Kenyans, what if President Barack Obama claims his citizenship and then he decides he would want to run for president? Maybe the Constitution does not allow that. Well, but the key thing is, what value does it bring to, to the country? What value does it bring in terms of soft power for our nation, Kenya? President Nana Addo of Ghana initiated the year of return in 2019, I believe, in Ghana. And the number of African Americans who've returned to Ghana since that time, who are investing in Ghana, it's unbelievable. It would provide a bridge for the reunification of the global African family to construct a new future of progress and prosperity for the black peoples of the world. Barack Obama would be returning home, not as a son of a slave, but as a son who can trace his roots to just one generation away. Would he run for president? You know, we've had challenges in this country, and I don't mean to say that he would have the magic bullet to fix this country, but it's a thought. So let's hit the streets and hear what Kenyans have to say. This is Kenya Fixer bringing you stories from Africa. Do you know President Barack Obama? Yes, I do. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think he's Kenyan? Do you think he's American? What do you think he is? I think he's both Kenyan and American. So he has his roots in Kenya. Yes, via his father. Mm. Yeah. And then now, uh, I also know he's American, so I think it's both. Uh, he's not a uh, Kenyan. Really? Yeah. Why do you say that? According to the family, mm -hmm. place of birth is a Kenyan. But uh, according to all his life, he's an American. 
Obama is a Kenyan and he is also uh, an American. His father was a Kenyan from Siaya and the mother was probably from the US. According to me, since the father has got roots in Africa, I think uh, the guy possesses two citizenship. Uh, the government should look on uh, how the guy should be given that citizenship because his roots are in Africa. He went and became famous in the US, but we know him as an African, which means when he comes back and claims for the citizenship, it's like he's, he's back home. What if he were to claim his Kenyan citizenship? He can reclaim his citizenship. Yes. Yeah. He has a right because he has a dual citizenship. He has both a Kenyan and a American. He can claim Kenya, he can claim an American. What if uh, President Barack Obama were to claim his citizenship and think of running for president again? I think it's so much possible as well. Yeah, because he's Kenyan and I think he meets all the qualifications of being a president in Kenya, so it's so much possible. Do you vote uh, for President Barack Obama if you were to run for him? Definitely, yes. Why? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I love what he used to do in himself, so yeah. yeah, definitely. And then I, I love his, okay, who he is, his personality too. Most likely, he might not qualify under technicalities, but what if he was to run, would you vote for him? No. Why not? <laughs> Voting for an individual depends on how much you trust the guy. My view is that he might not be understanding the problems we are facing Africans, more so in this, in this our case, Kenyans. And that's why, as a youth, you can't just vote someone in who maybe at some point won't deliver what you needed, you see? Uh, myself, I doubt because uh, being a, a son of Africa, as well as a, a former US president, I don't see a need for him to claim to be a president in Kenya. He was uh, in a senior post more than the son of Kenya. So you should not bother? You should not bother. What do you think of the idea that President Barack Obama claims his citizenship mm -hmm. and possibly would want to run as president for Kenya? Obama can actually do that because um, he is a Kenyan citizen. He has a Kenyan background. He has a family in Kenya, but on my side, if I am his advisor, I would advise him not to, because African politics is dirty, very, very much dirty, considering that Obama is someone with a high reputation as per now, involving in African politics, more so Kenyan politics, that one might dirtify some of his reputations he has got all over the world. He should just remain a former president of the U.S., then continue drawing his salary as, as usual, then life goes on. Do you think there's a connection between African Americans and Africans born and raised in Africa? I think they all originate from Africa, and so that's the connection. How about the idea that they should return home? Well, that's so much okay as well, because mm -hmm. it's their home. What are your thoughts about this policy by the president of Ghana? I think Nana has done what, what all African presidents should do. Right now, we should have a borderless continent, Africa, whereby African can travel in and out of any country in Africa without any restrictions, without visa. So long as you are an Africa, you are free to go to any country in Africa without any type of restriction. This story is essentially a conversation about leadership and citizenship, and above all, about brotherhood and sisterhood, you know. So it would be great if you could share your thoughts on the comment section below. Let's have a conversation, subscribe and share, and uh, we hope to bring you many more stories from Africa. In the meantime, Mr. President, I look forward to you holding that Kenyan passport in your hand. And we say, Karibu, Nyumbali. Thank you all. Thank you. Asante Sara.